The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Rav Nisim Yagen, Zecher Sadiq Vekadosh Debracha, I'm sure many of you heard of him. He brings down an amazing story in his sefer. And he even says that he knows the person and he validated the story because it's such an unbelievable story that he even did all the legwork in case someone's going to be, you know, asking, oh, who's this person? Like, you know, what's such a wild story? So the rabbi did the legwork. There was a girl, and this girl had a dream. And in her dream, her grandmother comes to her and tells her that across your street, she has a neighbor. The neighbor has a little girl that unfortunately is deathly ill. And she's going to die. And what the parents could do to save her life is to start keeping Shabbat. She bechawif. Scary. She gets that in a dream. Halumot shavye daberu. Dreams. Come on. Again, her grandmother comes to her in a dream. Again, telling her, you're able to save the girl's life. Just go to the parents. Tell them to start keeping Shabbat. They want to save their little girl. She thought, what kind of dream is this? I don't even know if the girl is sick. And they're going to think that she's crazy. And what if God forbid she tells them that and the girl really is sick and she doesn't get better. Who knows what she was thinking that. Who knows what could happen. So she was very hesitant and going. What made it even harder for her to go is that unfortunately she herself did not keep Shabbat yet. So she would look like a hypocrite. She's going to tell them, keep Shabbat, and here she is, not keeping Shabbat. It would seem very ironic. And then one day, her grandmother came to her in a dream and told her, you want this on your head? You want to have this guilt conscience that the girl is not getting healed because you don't want to go across the street and tell the parents to start keeping Shabbat? She got scared. Ooh. Wow. She said, if that's the case, sure enough, she crossed the street one day. She knocked on the neighbor's door. The parents opened up. They made small talk. How are you doing? How is everything? And then she dropped the question. So how is your daughter doing? And the mother started bowling. She's almost on her deathbed. How is she doing? Yeah, Ya haram. She almost has no more time left to live. So she said what she saw in the dream. That her grandmother came to her. And if they start keeping Shabbat, she'll be zokhet to get better. Within 40 days. That's what they said. That's what she saw in the dream. That's what she told them. So the parents, and credit to the parents, very big hazaku baruch. They said they tried everything for their daughter. What won't they try? If Shabbat is what it's going to take, they said, no problem. And right away, they got the plata and the urn and the package, whatever they need to start keeping Shabbat. And to their knowledge, to their ability to start keeping Shabbat. And sure enough, the first Shabbat, they already started keeping. Miraculously, you go figure this out. The girl started feeling better immediately. And by the 40th day, it's like nothing happened to the girl. The parents couldn't believe it. What's the secret? Give Shabbat the Kavod. And the Rifu'a will come. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.